Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is January 8th, 2019. So happy new years to those who haven't seen maybe some previous videos from this year. But I just came back from a trip to Finland to visit Camera Store, uh, who is the sponsor of this channel. So yeah, thanks to Camera uh, Store for sponsoring the news. So um, I haven't done the news for like a month. There's quite a bit of things to talk about. Some good, so some not so good, but so far, uh, let's start with Santa 1000. So Santa 1000 is a new film that is available in the market that was never available before, okay? So this is an emotion made in a factory that's been made for a while, it's been a surveillance film, and it's now gonna be cut and um, canned into 35 millimeter film. It's a ISO 1000. So as I was saying, it's a black and white ISO 1000 film, which is still in pre-order. You have to go to the website that I linked below and give your estimated you know, purchase or pre-purchase, no money involved, nothing. It's just kind of like committing to, I want four rolls, I want eight rolls, but then you can always back out if you don't feel like it. I actually have a beta test roll uh, 24 exposures that I hope to be able to shoot very soon and review and print in the darkroom so I can tell you how it um, handles the grain and such. Still, it's, you know, in the tests about what developer works best and such, but I'm very excited to see this new film. I'm a very big uh, high-speed film shooter on 35. I always shoot at 1600, so 1000 speed film is a very nice uh, fit for my use. Then if you didn't see in Finland, we did uh, biggest news in the film photography industry 2018 with Yuho from Camera Rescue. And actually I was checking for the news and b &H did a very similar article written down on their website. So I'm gonna link both of them below so you can check what are the good news and what has been brought into the market in 2018, which I think has been a great year for film. So let's hope 2019 is even better. From Addox, we have good news that the CHS film is back in stock in sheet film. 35 and 120 still has some working around because their machine they're using uh, is old and needs some refurbishing. There's actually an article about that on Addox uh, YouTube channel. But the CHS film uh, 100 is available in sheet film. So you've got it uh, from like 3NF by 4 film all the way to ultra large format, four x 10, four x five, eight by 10, all this stuff. So if you are one that was expecting to try this film out, uh, you can do it now. Also new boxing, which is very, very nice boxing. It's like a red orangey color. I saw it at Photokina and it looks really nice. Then we have an update from Ferrania. And I say update because yes, Ferrania has been very quiet lately. It hasn't been the best at communicating to their backers or the community in general. I've been talking to them back and forth every now and then, and I know some of the issues and why they maybe haven't reported before. And the update is basically saying they're still there, they're still working, they're still going forward. It's going with a lot of bumps down the road. They haven't been wanting to say when they'll release film, when they'll be in the market yet, because there's been so many problems down the road that they've been promising and promising and promising and not delivering on time, and people are kind of bored of that. So I understand that Ferrania is still working, which is a great thing considering how long they're still in the project, that they're still trying and not giving up, which is the easy way out. So yeah, if you wanna read it out, uh, it's in the Kickstarter. A lot of people were harsh on them, which I understand, but do remember Kickstarter is not a store. You're putting money towards a project and that money sometimes is used well, sometimes is used not so well, sometimes it's wasted, sometimes it goes into nothing but Ferrania is still going on. I don't think the money went to waste. It was all used to purchase the big machinery to put into the small building, but that is a whole different video that I one day wanna make about Ferrania and their story, hopefully from Ferrania. For another Kickstarter that's having some issues, it's the Reflex camera. They have basically said that the shutter is not being given to them because the numbers are too small. Uh, most of the shutter runs are like 2,000 units and I think they want like 1,000. So they're thinking about making their own shutter. They wanna go to top speed of one four thousand of a second and they're not stopping. Also, they're continuing. I do know for a fact that they have some private investment in the project and such, but uh, if you wanna read about it or you back the Reflex project, I highly recommend you check the link below. 
Then we have also news from Famous Format and New 55. As you all know, New 55 kind of like shut down their doors. They didn't stop at all. They just kind of put it in the drawer to see what would happen. And Sam Heiser has continued with another person to try to investigate how to make pods without a huge machine, an expensive machine, because their problem was the pod supply that was coming from 20 by 24 studio. They had some sort of issue between them. I'm not gonna go into details, but basically Famous Format has found a way to make a machine for the pods that works fairly good, even probably better than the before, and uh, is not gonna run into the millions of dollars. So they've done a new article called Looking for a Ship Part 3. You can read all the details about the spread and such, but it's looking very good. I cross my fingers that New 55 under Famous Format, New 55 or whoever does, comes out, it's good and we can purchase it. I do know that a lot of people complain about the price and the quality. Hopefully if the quality bumps up, the price won't be so it's a big deal considering that all the shots come out. And that's what they're saying so far. So you can still purchase some limited quantities. So if you wanna check it out, go into the famousformat.com. They have like a store there. You can purchase some and it probably helps for the project to continue. We also have an update from the Kickstarter from Chroma. He, Steve is still building the cameras. He's almost finished with all of it. There's even a little description of what goes into making each camera, just in case people are curious. But yeah, if you backed it or you wanna see it in the market soon, it should be available for everyone. Also, we have the Kickstarter campaign by 35MMC Hamish Hill which is the Pixelator, which is like a film holder made out of plastic. He finally found someone that will manufacture it and it's gonna be uh, Patterson in the UK, which is a great thing. Patterson is very well known for manufacturing um, things for film. So, you know, they know what the medium is, they know what they need, plastic and such. So that's good news from Hamish. I was one of the backers, so hopefully we'll get the Pixelator very soon. To go with the Pixelator, uh, we have the Film Lab app that gave a little update about the Android version. And so far it's getting very close for the Android users like me to get the beta testing. Uh, as you know, the iOS users already have a full um, unit working on the app store. So lucky for them, they can use that. For us Android users, we're still stuck with a previous work that doesn't work so well. So I can't wait for that product to be available for everyone. Another big thing about the news last year and this year is that Florian Caps, also known as Doc and SuperSense have made possible that the campaign has been successful. That makes no sense. But basically one instant is coming along. They funded uh, totally, I think they got like 215,000 euros, which is a good amount to start. Remember that they're gonna be working with uh, legacy products and they're gonna be working around to making new products. He actually said in a podcast, I can't remember the name right now, that this time it's not like the Impossible Project where they had all the tools, but they didn't have any of the chemistry. This time it's the other way around. They have a lot of supplies for the chemistry, but they don't have all the tools. So it's not such a big problem building certain tools, even if it's handmade. So as one of the backers too of this project, I'm very excited to see peel apart and uh, the one instant coming into the market. For all of those people that are awaiting Tetanol news, there's still no news. Supposedly today they're meeting and they were gonna let me know how it went. So it won't be able available till next week unless it's a big, big news and I'll make a video on it. But Edwall meanwhile has come out with an E6 kit for the US at least. They're gonna do a quarter gallon and a gallon. It starts I think at $59 for the quarter gallon and like $120 for like the gallon. Don't get me on the prices, I remember this, but not sure. But yeah, for those in the US, E6 is another has another player and um, that is pretty exciting. Also, as I said, uh, I started a Spanish podcast. Uh, I'm leaving the link below, it's called Film and Beer. If you speak Spanish or you wanna learn Spanish, there's a few episodes already. I actually interviewed Yuho from Camera Rescue in Spanish because he speaks Spanish. Um, not the fluent Spanish I speak, but still he did his best. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, listening to it. It has a lot of the details about what's gonna be happening with Camera Rescue in Spain and such with me. And um, yeah, so as always, thank you Camera Store for sponsoring the video. If you have any information, you can send an email to the email below. Thank you and see you next week.